Hi Capricorn, so I'm going to get straight into your reading and if there's anything else that you feel that you need to know about, especially if you're new to tarot, then you can find all of that information in my descriptions box and in my pinned comments below. Cross watchers, please feel free to switch the energies around. You only take what's resonating for you and you leave the rest, okay? With this being the beginning of the month, Capricorn, this, this reading is engineered more towards your general life and the love reads are mid-month. Sometimes we do get love reads that pop out at the start of the month, okay? I can't control that. Also, I do have roadworks that's going on outside the house, so I do apologise for any noise. Right, Capricorn, please, for me. Okay. Ooh. New beginnings. This is absolutely beautiful, Capricorn. New beginnings. Um, if, if you can imagine, this is very similar to the Ace of Coins energy, okay? It's growth, abundance, prosperity leaving behind anything and everything that doesn't work for you. This could be people, places, things, even ways of thinking, okay? Anything that's not in alignment with you anymore, you're walking away from and you're starting something new. For some of you, this could be a brand new relationship. For others of you, this could be a brand new career. It could simply be an old career path that's taken a new turn, a new direction. It could be that as well. Now, we do see there's like a, a crescent moon here and the sun, and it's showing at the same time, which is really unusual. Um, it's very rare that we will still be able to see the moon when the sun is out. It is possible, um, but quite rare. So, <clears throat> Any fears that you have about a brand new beginning, you're facing them head on. You, you're ready for the challenge, whatever that might be. Um, you're ignoring any kind of gossip as well. You're ignoring the fears that others might be putting into your mind. Okay, so it's like th this isn't something that you're doing without any backup plan. And it's also not something that you're doing on a whim as well. So, you know, you are Capricorn, so you have done a thorough risk assessment. And yeah, you, you're feeling really positive, really comfortable with the decisions that you've made. Um, a lot of growth and abundance in this card. So, so much to look forward to. So that's an amazing way to begin your reading, Capricorn. Okay, let's start pulling your tarot. It's Capricorn's current energy, please. It's Capricorn's current energy. Okay. Oof. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. Um, Jupiter, the Santa Claus of all the planets. Rapid growth, progression, forward movement, fate, karma, destiny, optimism, abundance. Um, I always say with this card, it's, this is the card that reminds you that this too shall pass. It keeps you hopeful and humble because when you're at the top of your game, it keeps you humble because this too shall pass. And when you're at the bottom of, of your game, it keeps you hopeful because this too shall pass. Um, it acknowledges the, the natural life cycles of things, anything. Okay, certain things have to come to an end so that brand new things can begin and new beginnings really genuinely is the theme of your reading Capricorn. There's a bright future ahead of you here with this particular combination. It's really, really powerful. And again, with that optimism, um, while healthy cynicism is good, being too pessimistic, it it could knock you back a couple of steps, okay? So hold on to your optimism, right? You've then got death in reverse. This is a major arcana for Scorpio. Um, metamorphosis. When this shows in reverse, it's a struggle, okay? So there, there could be 
there, there could be issues surrounding a personal transformation that you've had to go through. I am going to clarify this one. It can also be resistance as well. When death is upright, it's ex acceptance. It's accepting things the, the way that they are. It's accepting things that's not within your control. And it's liberation. Um, you, you're liberating yourself from the things that's within your power to liberate yourself from. When it's in reverse, it's a lot of restrictions. And it's interesting because it did come out with the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Coins, that's Sun in Capricorn energy. <clears throat> Withholding or holding on to something. Three of Wands. Um, sun in Aries energy. Expectations, future proofing, future planning. And then the Three of Swords, two threes back to back. Self-expression, cooperation. Could this be about somebody not cooperating with you, Capricorn? The Three of Swords is Libra and energy. Pain, grief, heartbreak, disappointment. Somebody was not cooperating with you, so something went tits up, basically. Uh, something didn't go the way that you wanted to. Again, because of somebody not cooperating with you. Um, this is intriguing because there's quite a lot that's going on. I do need to clarify this one here for you, though, because it's in reverse and it's very rare that it will come out in reverse. In this particular deck, it's a rebirth. Okay, I'll show you. It's actually a phoenix. So with it in reverse, there, there's a staggered rebirth because of somebody's unwillingness to, to work with you. Why is death in reverse, please, for Capricorn? Thank you. Four of Cups. Cancerian energy. So somebody's ignoring something. Someone's not paying attention to what it is that they're supposed to be doing. Um, if this is someone who is part of your destiny, if, if this is like a, a counterpart or a spiritual connection of some kind, it shows that your counterpart probably isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing. So they're probably not listening to the messages, the spiritual guidance that they're receiving. It's like that they would rather ignore uh, this particular connection. It could also be you as well, uh, with it being emotions. Um, you, you might have been trying to conceal your emotions, trying to ignore it and just acting disinterested, anything like that. Basically, any kind of energy that's going to um, stagger your personal growth. Right. What's the outside influences affecting Capricorn at this time, please? There could also be a worry that somebody else doesn't want to have a rebirth or a reconciliation with you, that there could be a bit of that that's going on as well. See the outside? Oh, okay. Right, High Priestess, Moon Energy, Eight of Cups, Pisces, Eight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy, and the Four of Cups again, Capricorn, uh, sorry, Cancerian Energy. I do apologise. Slight slip up there. It happens. Right, Outside influences. Somebody did walk away from you. You could have walked away from them quite easily, but it's showing me that someone walked away from you. Okay. Um, and the High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets. Now, someone's not being completely honest here about feelings. And I do get, for the most part, that this is both of you. And it's causing you to wonder whether or not they would reconcile with you. It, it's almost as if you, you don't know what's going on in the heart space of somebody else. We do see, with the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups, that there is clearly, clearly a desire to communicate to you. However, 
this this is somebody that's under the impression of four of cups that you're not interested so you're mirroring each other here in quite a lot of ways and it's like both of you would rather not find out if it's going to be bad news why the high priestess please oh okay right so you're dealing with something quite significant here then capricorn wheel of fortune in reverse sagittarius energy the magician um mercury energy so gemini virgo ten of cups pisces energy the emperor aries and divine masculine and the lovers gemini energy okay so the high priestess has been clarified with all of this and we're seeing that th there's something about manipulation either you or someone else might have felt like they were being manipulated with this particular combination and also as well capricorn your person's not holding out much hope they're really really not with that wheel of fortune in reverse they're not holding on to anything changing with this particular situation um, they have certainly have kept their feelings to themselves with this High Priestess Eight of Cups. It's almost like a lot of assumptions were made and I mean you can see that they've taken their Cup of Love and they've gone elsewhere basically. Um, the Ten of Cups Emperor and the Lovers, yeah, again it certainly indicates the chances are quite high here that somebody has moved on, either you or they Capricorn. Um, there's stability with this emperor it's like some someone could be staying in a situation out of duty interesting What's the guidance or the outcome here, please, for Capricorn? Thank you. Knight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, Pisces energy. It doesn't look like either of you are going to make a move anytime soon. The Knight of Cups upright is a romantic offering. It's a conversation from the heart. Again, um, this is very much who blinks first. Yeah, hanged man. No, nothing's moving anywhere fast neptune energy so it's pisces energy Stag stagnation nothing nothing moving um basically if somebody doesn't take the initiative then nothing's going to change ace of coins earth energy taurus virgo capricorn so the potential for a, a new beginning is here it's certainly here but there's a lot of pushback as well um you're certainly mirroring each other in a lot of ways and then the lovers is the overall energy duality union a choice partnership a union and under there the six of wands success getting the accolades attention as well getting someone's attention and ten of wands okay so somebody feels that basically they haven't got time to invest in this at least not for the time being so for as long as that train of thought is going to be active i genuinely don't see that much anything is going to change with this particular situation i really really don't knight of cups in reverse the hanged man um, I, I don't know what to say there capcom i really don't know what to say A healing message, please, for Capricorn. Heart of the matter. Align life's pathways through the heart. Right. And we'll do the usual rule of three with these uh, healing messages. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. Okay. So it says, in Sufi wisdom, the human heart 
is a palace of divine grace and the sanctuary of universal love. It is the source and centre for every image, yet it takes no form of its own. It is the place where duality cannot enter. Everything in the heart is united into one. Its true love value is only recognised by love. There is energy in the air like a fragrance that surrounds and shelters your heart with a pure love like you have never known before. If you feel unsatisfied with your life, search within yourself and find out if your spirit and ego are in harmony with each other. Frustration and loneliness are caused by a war that's going on inside of you between your heart and the ego. The spirit is interested in taking the ego into its own realm, while your ego wants to do the reverse and break away from your spirit. You're embraced by open, nurturing hearts and loving souls, a garden of beauty where you can renew yourself. Pure happiness comes to those whose hearts are polished like a mirror to reflect their excitement and desire to expand. Life is a process of constant creation. Use your heart as a guide in all non-physical choices, good or bad, conscious or unconscious, in pain or in ecstasy. Know that the heart can bring all opposites to union through love. And the mantra that comes with this card is, I am re-collaborating my frequencies to resolve the battle between my rational mind and my heart by letting my mind take care of physical matters and letting my heart bring me into alignment with the true pathway in my life. It's a beautiful message. So that is what's causing the blockages with this particular situation, Capricorn. In its current energy, neither individual is willing to blink first. And yet we're seeing that the potential for the new beginning is still very much here. So whatever fear it is that's surrounding this Capricorn, I do get the impression that that's going to need further investigating. Why, why would you feel that they're not interested and vice versa? Why would they feel that you're not interested? Why, why is this stuck at a certain point? So Capricorn, please. There's definitely a root cause. Okay. And then you've got solar plexus chakra and it's suggesting that citrine might be beneficial for you at this time and abundance. The world is abundant when you choose to see it that way. And the solar plexus chakra is the third chakra and it pertains to your right to act. It deals with willpower, vitality, um, control, the freedoms to be yourself, anything like that. It's desires and power. Um, it can be blocked by shame. For some of you, there's a message here that's coming through that uh, someone that you're dealing with feels ashamed about how they treated you. And it's that that's keeping them stuck from progressing anything further. So that's, I mean, whoever it is that's resonating with that message, it's them that is having the, the battle with the ego. Right, so moving on. If anybody is offended at swearing, you should probably switch out now because this is the rebel deck. It can be very brutal, blunt, and it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Okay, right. You're being shady. Watch out, shit could get ugly. Interesting. Um, again, with that, someone keeping their emotions to themselves. Someone... I, I get the impression, Capricorn, that you're dealing with someone who is very, very stubborn. And it's that ego that, that's coming into the, the mix again. It, it's, it's not healthy. Time to let go move the fuck on okay so someone refuses to move on from you fuck shit's about to get real you need your people around you whatever you're thinking about don't do it 
now is not the fucking time and stop talking shut your mouth and listen interesting so these cards are completely interchangeable okay feel free to pick and choose what resonates for you and leave what doesn't really interesting read capricorn so that is all i have for you if you would like to book a private reading with me then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below thank you so much for watching have a lovely week and i'll see you in the next one bye